Hey guys, Ryan from Man of Bluff here. As you can see, we're getting ready to fire off a gate crash release sealed event. Open in packs right now. Uh, this is only the second um, sealed I've ever done. Uh, I did the pre-release in person. So let's go ahead and start by rarity. And see so we got, ooh, Nightville Spectre. I'm sure a lot of people saw that um, during the pre-release. I love that guy. We got a Primordial um, in white. Crypt Ghast. I have to remember what all these do in every type of summer. Oh yeah, that guy. Extort. Kind of iffy. And then two Watery Graves. Okay, so some value. And we definitely have some Demir Shizzle going on. So let's go ahead and sort piles by color. And we'll try to remember um, what we got going on here with our Watery Graves. To splash blue or black, depending on what we do. Plus we have our Boris Guildgate. That's kind of cool. Sweet. So... Let's uh, start looking at the colors. Thrall. Creature has protection multicolored. Don't really care about that. Just gonna kind of make a pile of boring things over there. Um, that's okay. That's good. We love that guy. Extort. I'm just gonna put some of the extort guys together so I kind of pay attention what's going on in the Orzhov versus other decks. Yeah, not a super fan. Controls. Yep, did that guy. The Tiger! Oddly playable. Love that guy. And then, of course, we had our Primordial. Yep, saw that. Not stoked on white, but really it'll probably come down to these guys anyway. Um, Belax gets pussy pussy to another turn. He's only once. Ooh, the Sprite! I have zero interest in ever playing. Try creature. Cast of Sorcery. So, yeah, of course, you're over there. I might not be putting as many unplayables aside as you might be thinking, because I honestly don't know a lot of them. Um, gosh, I wish I could play Simic. I tried to play Simic at my um, pre that was the pack I had, but there is quite literally only three evolved creatures that I had. Um, ooh, a couple Keymaster Oaks, that's pretty fun. Um, they do not work that well together though, and then Gridlock, boring. So that's kind of a bummer that Blue's lame, considering we have this sort of... Um, situation going on. Maybe we have our blue back end up being, which actually does look pretty strong down here. We know about our Spectre. We got our Rogue. Call a Nightwing is a thing. Incidental Mill. That guy. Bane Alley Broker is sweet. And Demir Charm definitely works. Um, But not exactly amazing. I am kind of noticing some Boros here. That looks pretty cool. Okay, sideboard. Um, love that guy. Everyone loves that guy. Um, actually, I think that guy can really work in the Boros deck um, later on, but we'll see. Yeah, not looking to play you really looking to play you, especially in the Boros deck. Gruel looking pretty good there. Looking pretty alright. Bioshift I like. So really just about finding what the correct um, sort of guild is that we're playing in. I'm just kind of moving these guys over because they don't really mean a whole lot in what's going on. We might add them in later I suppose. And key runs I'm not stoked on. All right, let's get back to the colors. That's approach, definitely a thing. Gutter skull, two, two, two. It works. Um, extort. I will probably play devour flesh. Defender, sacrifice. Another. Oh yeah, that guy. I actually liked the pre-release, but I get that he's not good. Um, but he did some work for me. I was stoked on that. Gateway shade's gonna do nothing for me. Um, this guy I really like, but I don't feel like I have the Demir Mill to support it. Uh, we already saw him. Um, yeah, I'm not excited at all about my blue or black. Um, these guys are fine, but pretty underwhelming, to be honest. Let's hope red and green kind of starts getting something exciting going on. What do we have here? Oh yes, that one. Wait, we got two of them. Crackling perimeter, blah, not a fan. I 
really hope I don't have to play that. Okay. I like Massive Raid. I like Cinder Elemental. Towering Thunder Fist. I'd even play in Gruul. Yeah, that ain't happening at 6. Good. <laughs> Definitely like a fixing thing, so we'll just leave it there. Ooh, two slaughter horns. My mean slime. If needed. Gosh. I hope I don't have to play that. Type of old ways, forged adaptation. Alright, first thing I'm thinking is Gruel, to be honest. Let's see how Gruel works. And I'm just going basic colors here, which I should probably be more efficient on. Anything that can be played just in Gruel. I am keeping in mind I have a Boros, um, a Boros Go Gate if I want to be splashing a white assumption such as this veteran. Though it's probably going to more be an edict. Too bad I can't play the primordial. So the, my bombs are definitely sucking at life. Um, all right, talk about aggressive, ruination worm. Let's. Greenside watcher. Untap target gate. Yeah, that ain't gonna be happening. Not planning on that being something I care much about. And then we like this guy, of course. Uh, forced adaptation? Not stoked on. But if you need trips, you gotta have trips. Target blocking creature gets me to the first strike. Don't wanna do a whole lot of blocking, but. Good to know. So this will obviously get cleaned up pretty soon. Mostly I just want to be paying attention to the creatures right now. Um, that's a creature. So on the creature front, we're a wee bit light. I mean, I could definitely add this in, but it only gives me 12, and they're pretty much a big old bummer. Um, yeah, there's nothing really there to add either. So, let's go ahead and set Gruel back. It's definitely a thing. Um, let's go back to the rares. I mean, this guy's fine. This is an awesome seven drop if we end up playing white um, and whatever. So, why don't we try? the Orzov thing, maybe with the splash of blue. Um, see what's going on there. I mean, mostly right now, since I'm not stoked on any one sort of thing, um, oh, Shattering Blow, we know is out. Um, I just kind of want to see what the different guilds have to offer. So, Orzov, Orzov. These we can keep in mind for splashes, of course. Um, especially in in this color. So. So we yeah. have. Let's try to find how many extorts we actually have going on. So that's two. Nope. Two. Yes. Two. Gosh, not a fan. That guy's fine. Playmo. Did I have three of these guys? I thought I had three. Apparently I only have Dose, but that's okay. Or the Dem gains hexproof. Target opponent loses three life. Definitely like Angelic Edict. Um, the cur
curve is fine, but I have only three extorts. And this guy's not going to do a whole lot. I mean, or not this guy. Never mind. That guy is awesome. Where? Oh, I was thinking of the Keymaster Rogue. That's why I'm insane. I did have three Keymaster Rogues. I was seeing this guy. This guy's going to be cool. Little, little hope there in getting some incidental mill. But, I mean, gosh, not exactly excited for anything going on. Is there any blue worth splashing? I mean, this guy's cool. I'll get the looter on. But I don't think it's going to be on time, as it were. Hmm. Sky Games, Hand of Binding, Cleaning, and Enemies. Yeah. I have basically no Simic stuff going on. So that's out for sure. So I feel like the only... Let's go ahead and pop the color. Let's ditch... All of this piles back color. Let's um bring in all of this red and boros shizzle. And again, I'm just looking at basic creature counts. I'm not planning on doing a lot of blocking with these guys, but yeah, never know. Uh, in not a fan of this guy, of course, in Boros. Shattering Blow should always be gone, but I always forget about it. Battalion, during Sky Deck, like it. This guy actually think is sweet, because you drop him down, plus grab something else. Um, you know, something here. Something here, getting both those guys. Oof, pretty sweet. Don't want to play him, but we're paying attention. That ain't worth a card. This could actually work in the uh, the Boros thing. That's that's kind of interesting. Suddenly, I am noticing I'm down to eleven creatures. Eleven creatures in Moros. What can I splash, if anything? Nada. Very little. Alright. So. No. Piles by color. So. There you go. Lastly, we do have Demir to be paying attention to. Not even going Simic, because there's literally no point. Um, Alright, we got six minutes to decide on our build. So I do need to hurry. Piles by converted mana cost. We got these guys. Sprite, I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of. Sky game. Yeah, this Demir stuff just just sucks. Yeah. So I definitely felt like we had it in between the Gruul or the Orzhov. So, that's not what I wanted. I wanted piles by color. But Gruul just didn't have enough creatures, and I don't think there was any way to really spot it. I think we just have to go Orzhov, which I'm not, like, sad about by any means. It's just not overly powerful. I sure do get that primordial thing going on. Um... But definitely seems like a very underwhelming um, pool. Although maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that could very well be the situation. Because this is where we had with the Orzhov build. But again, what are my actual um Extort guys, I don't really have a great way to win anything, right? I have blind obedience, which I'm almost considering just doing that. <sighs> yeah, 
I really think maybe I do just don't go gruel. Since I don't have much experience with this format, I apologize for all the common, the lack of commentary. Just kind of figuring it out. But yeah, I just think the the consistency basics on this deck is what I like. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going girl. It's official. Let's start breaking it all down again. Shattering blow. No. Girl charm. Yes. Sadly, I need you. Don't want you, but I need you. You. Oops. I'm not excited for you, but whatever. I'm not excited for you at all. Justice, sadly, we're going to need. You don't want. <laughs> I really don't want these. Okay. If we bring this guy in, we get Angelic Edict, which I do think is worth it. And that's basically the best we have. God, 12 measly creatures in a creature-centric strategy. Not happy. Anything else I can be doing here? Shield of Veterinary. Blind Obedience. Just not going to cut it. Yay, Watery Graves for value. Um, I guess we just bring in this guy because I just need a creature. like him, but I can't be splashing those cards right now in these colors. And I still think this is like the better situation going on versus the other stuff. It's just going to be one of those funky doohickey kind of things. I think we just take out some of this, keep the 13 creatures in, or be creature light. Hopefully we don't get too stomped over any uh, major Boros kiddos, right? This is going to do it. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> this is hard. I mean, that guy's sweet, but the rest of this deck sucks. Yep. We're forcing it. Here we go. So here's this. Hold on. I'm getting rid of... Definitely... Sadly, I think this is going to be doing a lot of work in the deck in helping to um, basically just keep me alive while these things work. Um, and I'm going to need this just to get creatures back. So, yeah. I got to cut. I probably won't want a bunch of these. This maximum would be one for one. So, let's add some lands with the suggest. Piles by color. Do I really want nine of those? Actually, I think eight looks pretty okay. So that gives me eight and eight on everything, plus two white sources. Yeah. Done. And submit. Here we go. Good luck to me. 